welcome to this 59th solid edge video tip from CAD Vertex. My name is Tushar. In this video, I'll show you the basic usage of the if function that was introduced with solid edge ST9 and some more advanced scenarios and a few complex cases where you can use the if conditional statement. This is a piece of imported geometry. We zoom in closer to the pathfinder. You see in the synchronous uh, portion, uh, this is a part copy. The most prominent features being uh, this slot out here and a hole and another one out here. There also exists an equal radius relationship uh, that was added so that this diameter uh, for the one hole changes, the other hole updates accordingly. In the order mode, one countable hole is added. And looking closer to the dimensions, the most important one is the slot length, uh, that is uh, which one we are going to manipulate according to the change in the length. And another one is the hole diameter, uh, that will be for another demonstration for the if uh, function. Besides this, there are three other dimensions, uh, which is the distance of the bottom of the slot from the plate end. Uh, the length of the top portion of those, uh, the clamp plate uh, and the whole distance, distance from the hole from the top portion. Uh, all these three dimensions are hidden but uh, it's important to know that they are part of the design intent. To start using the if function, open the variable table from the tools tab on the ribbon bar or simply right click in the graphics area, select variables. In Solid Edge ST9, the variable table sports a refreshingly new look. As you can see, it's a structured, uh, variables are grouped in various categories. There are ordered and then under feature, each feature has got its own uh, dimensions and variables listed. Under PMI, which are from the synchronous portion, uh, all variables are available and user variables. Uh, clicking this button at the top, you can, uh, I can see the old style pre-ST9 uh, simple list and switch back to the structure view from this button. Now the first, the simplest way I can use uh, the if function is uh, controlling the length of the slot uh, as per the change in the length of uh, the value of the uh, of this length. So I'll, I'll select it out here. Uh, the, the slot length uh, that row highlights here. I'll select it, click this uh, formula button here. And the if function is grouped under logical, select if, next. Now my condition is, if the length is less than or equal to 40, which is the current value, then the slot length should be 32. Uh, any, any value for the length which is more than 40, the slot should be 36. That's my design intent. Finish. Now I can see uh, the colors have changed for the driven and this is a mixed mode color where the dimension line and the extension line are red and the text is 32 indicating that uh, it's a formula driven uh, dimension and uh, the function itself it has appeared over here. I can uh, it's not necessary that I should use the function wizard every time if I know the syntax correctly I can make the edits here say I want I, I don't want it 36 I can make it 38 out right here so that I don't have to run the wizard all over again and if I right click uh, on the formula select variable rule editor I can uh, see the uh, it's formula driven and it's out here I'll click it it's okay now I will test the if function for any value which is 40 or less 36 the value for slot will be 32 the moment I change it to uh, more than 40, 45. Now the if condition it has evaluated and the value is 38. This kind of uh, usage of the if uh, it is a, a, a threshold kind of control where 40 is a threshold value. I can only check if the value of the length variable is uh, 40 or less or more than it. What if I want to uh, evaluate uh, various values of uh, the length, say if it is 40 then the length of the slot should be say 32, if it is 45 then the length of slot should be 34 and if the uh, length is 50 and then the, it followed by accordingly the slot length should be adjusted to 36 and say and 55 and 60. 
so i should be able to use uh, the if um, function accordingly but the solaridge doesn't provide any direct way of doing this so i will uh, try to uh, right click here select all copy it here and i'll invoke the notepad so that i can paste it out here uh, in a bigger font uh, the first step uh, select the entire formula copy it now what this uh, function reads if the length is equal to 40 then the slot length should be 32 else then i'll select the else part paste the whole stuff again now if i'll ch make the modification here if it is the uh, the length is 45 then i want the slot length as 36 else paste it again if the length is 50 i want it 38 oops uh, sorry it would be here increment of 2 so length is 45 slot length is 34 else if the length is 50 this will become 36 else one more time if it is 55 i want the length to be uh, increment of 2 38 and in all other conditions it's uh, 40 so uh, revising once again i start with the if if length is 40 then the slot length is 32 uh, for every 5 increment or it could be anything i can make it your 39 42 it need not be a linear increment proportional i'll copy the whole thing switch to right click here variable rule editor select the whole formula right click and paste if i hover the mouse over here it displays the full now we'll go out and change uh, test uh, my formula for 40 so it is 32 for 45 it's 34 i can check accordingly all the values so 50 it's in given 39 what i specified over here let's go back yeah out there it's 39 and for a value of 55 it should be 40 yeah, 42 as we have uh, specified here now in the next stage i want to restrict the user to specify only discrete values of the length like 40 45 so for doing this i'll select this variable for the length uh, it's highlighted over here right click variable rule editor now limit the values to a discrete list i'll type in 40 a semicolon 45 semicolon 50 semicolon and 55 once i do this i get when i select this dimension instead of editing the value i get a neat list of just the values that i want the user to restrict so he will pick 40 from here and if function will come into picture it will change the slot length to 32 the corresponding say i go to 50 then it changes to 39 for 59 it's 42 and so on This is uh, this is another use uh, the way we can manipulate. Let's go back to the, the notepad. This way we can now uh, yeah, use the if then else. You can evaluate multiple values. Now in the next part, uh, I want to control. Say uh, another design intent is if the value of uh, the, uh, if the value of the length. Uh, uh, it's controlling the slot length and it uh, the slot length it surpasses say a uh, value of 35 then this hole should be suppressed uh, how i can suppress this hole it's a it's a ordered feature i can right click on the hole and say add suppression value variable watch out in this area under the hole one the moment i add i add a suppression variable this this variable has been added it has got a value of either one or zero so one means yes, zero means no. Zero means no, don't suppress. The 
feature so you can see the feature out here if i say one means yes yes suppress the feature so this uh, the feature has gone i can get it back by typing in zero and which is no no don't suppress the feature so it will show up so how i can control this variable to be one or zero based on the value of the slot length now this variable length is going to control the slot length and the moment the slot length exceeds say a value of 35 this this should go off so i'll control it out here i will uh, the whole suppress i'll click on the logical if the condition is slot length greater than 35 then suppress yes one yes means once yes means suppress and zero means don't suppress otherwise don't suppress it now finish now it has evaluated immediately the current uh, uh, the function has appeared over here yeah if slot length is greater than 35 suppress meaning one one means yes suppress zero means no don't suppress so the current value of slot length is 42 so it has evaluated to one so this whole has suppressed so now i'll change the value 40 for 40 the corresponding slot length is 32 which is less than 35 so this has evaluated to zero means no don't suppress so the slot uh, the counter borrow hole has appeared again for 45 it's still 34 it has not crossed 35 so the value is still zero no don't suppress the moment i select 50 uh, for the length the uh, corresponding value for slot length is 39 uh, it has crossed 35 so it has the, the whole is suppressed and for 55 also it will remain suppressed so this is another scenario where you can use the if condition and not just one based on the condition you can uh, suppress or unsuppress uh, multiple features at the same time another uh, re repetition i'll quickly show you how you can change the diameter as well uh, nothing new about this I'll bring up the notepad, copy the formula once again. For each, uh, uh, this time, uh, I'll change the, the ho whole diameter, this hole. So for 42, the diameter could be 8. For 45, the diameter could be 6. For 50, it's 4. 55, 2. And all other values, uh, let's keep it. So as already said, paste it out here. So it has evaluated immediately for a value of 40. Uh, it's 8. For 45, it's 6. So as you can see, the point here is uh, by changing one value, you can uh, effectively uh, manipulate two dimensions or two variables. So every time I change a value here, uh, the slot length is changing, the diameter of the holes is changing, and uh, feature is getting suppressed or unsuppressed here three things happened just now the diameter changed to six the hole is back unsuppressed the slot length is has also changed before proceeding to the next part of the video let me show you how you can download the uh, model the solid edge models uh, which were demonstrated in this video so that you can use them uh, directly and start off with the video exercises in your browser open www.cadvertex.com this page opens at the top there are links go to the blog link here you will have a direct link to the solid edge blog where most of the tips video tips are hosted when you open the uh, surf and core site for the first time you will land up with one of the latest tips here right now is the tip number 57 and you can scroll down at the end of each tip is a title called index of all solid edge tips tutorials and videos as you can see you go to any tip there is an index click that index and a new tab will open and here it's a the main page of the surf and code site scroll down a little bit and here right in the center you'll have a list of all solid edge video quick tips you can directly click on a link to go to that particular tip which will again open its own tab coming back to the cad vertex page you can have a download link for the tip and trick models you can click here 
to open one more tab on this page uh, it will open up google drive uh, folder for solaris tip trick models and most of the models that are used in the video tip provided in neutral format like uh, stp or parasolid also if you do not have solid edge right away installed uh, per specifically the latest version for some of the tips and tricks you'll need uh, the latest version uh, installed for this simply type in siemens.com slash plm tra slash try solid edge another page of interest if you are on facebook uh, is the solid edge user group log into your facebook search for solid edge users this page is especially important to you if you want to hear about the new solid edge video, uh, video tips made available they are posted here first uh, than anywhere else so far uh, we have seen uh, the use of if function for a threshold value if the value of a length is less than or above a particular threshold value accordingly the slot length has changed the second case was a discrete list of values where the length was taking finite values at each step it has a corresponding slot length and a diameter value then here's a third scenario where i want to change the slot length for all values now you can see in the graphics out here for all values of length which are less than or 40 40 included and lesser than 40 uh, it should remain in say 28 for all values of length between 40 and 45 I want to keep it the diameter somewhere in between and for all values above of specific uh, 45 uh, it should be a, a, a different uh, how, how to set up this I'll bring up the notepad once again this is how I type. I now I I no longer need the wizard. I'll type a. The length is less than 40. Now this is the lower end of the spectrum. Then let it be 28. Else, if the length happens to be greater than or equal to 40, then once again check if length is also less than 45. In that case, let it be 32. And if it is greater than 40, this is 30. And this one, this 32. You have to match up with this one so what essentially this tells to the variable is if the length is less than all values less than 40 uh, the value of the slot uh, length should be 20 and this is the important part which defines the range it says oh, for all values of the length which are greater than or equal to 40 and if the length is less than 45 between 40 and 45 it should be 30 and for all other values this means for all values which are greater than 45 the slot length could be 34 i'll copy this portion let's go form and paste it for slot length now with this i am ready to e evaluate uh, how the it works uh, i need to remove these discrete values from here i'll go to length right click and check off the limit value to checkbox okay now i'm back i can instead of the discrete list i can change each variable separately now any value uh, less than 39 uh, less than 40 say it's 39 so uh, as described in the uh, range type it's 28 for any value between 40 and 45 it will be 32 and for any value which is greater than 45 it will be 34 these are the various scenarios in which you can use the built-in simple if function thanks for watching this is tushar suradkar signing off until the next solid edge video quick tip